In Silent Hill 1, Alessa has been sleeping for a long time. When she is reunited with her other half, the god inside her continues to grow, and the outcome changes based on the actions of the player. Either she will become the Incubator, a reference to the god she is gestating, or the Alglau Fotis will expel the demonic energy inside her, and the Incubus will be expelled from her body. The Incubus is a large, demonic, winged creature that attacks with red lightning. It's also known as Samael, as Dahlia and other sources sometimes refer to it. Since the creature is born from Dahlia's spell and Alessa's soul, it may represent what Alessa sees the cult's god as, just as the god born in Silent Hill 3 seems to represent how Claudia saw God. An incubus is an ancient mythic creature that originated in Mesopotamia. The first reference to it is an ancient stone writing called the Sumerian King List, where it is referred to as the Lilu, the male counterpart to the Lilith. The name is Latin. It means to lie on, just as the succubus, the female counterpart, means to lie under. The creature itself is often seen as a shapeshifter, it can take either form depending on its sexual desire or need, and even steal the sperm of a victim to use on another victim later. Any children born of such unions are called Cambians, and many famous fictional characters, such as Gilgamesh, Merlin, and the Caliban, have been called such. The Incubus comes into the dreams of women and sexually assaults them, sometimes impregnating them even riding them to exhaustion and death. It was believed to be a real threat in medieval Europe, where the creature was especially fond of hunting holy women. Other cultures had similar creatures, like the Alp from Germany, the Popobawa from Zanzibar, and the Karabasan from Turkey. The origins of the myth were probably a combination of things. The sexual repression of the time, a cover-up for real-world sexual assaults and rapes, and possibly as an explanation for sleep paralysis, where a person wakes in the night and is unable to move or speak. The choice of name for this creature says a lot about its origins. Alessa has been physically asleep this whole time, trapped in a nightmare of pain. Dark magic impregnated her, and during this sleep she's been gestating this creature, quite similar to the myths and tales of what the Incubus would do. In this case, she is the mother of the creature, which is, as Dahlia says, born from her nightmares. While the name comes from Akkadian myth, the design is a newer concept. It originates in the Sabbatic Goat, also known as Baphomet. The first mention of the name comes from the Middle Ages, involving charges against the Templar Order. The Order was eventually disbanded due to a great deal of rumors and possible crimes committed, and political pressure from the King of France, who happened to owe the Templars money. Whether or not the supposed crimes, which included sodomy and worship of the demon Baphomet, really happened is still argued by historians. It's possible that Baphomet was a demonization of Mohammed, that the Templars had included some Islamic tradition in their practices, which was turned against them as a tool to get rid of them. The name was then taken into the mystic and occult practices and writings over the years, and later, it was given a face by the artist Eliphas Levi in 1856. The concept, called the Sabbatic Goat, was meant to represent the duality and completeness of the universe, the sun and moon, male and female, and the design is that of a goat with two heads, the body of a woman, and writing on its arms. It's very similar to the design seen in Silent Hill. The words on its arms are the Latin salve and coagula, which means separate and join together. The Baphomet in Silent Hill has writing on it too, the same two words reflected across its body. Masohiro Ito says he believes the writing is Greek. Based on that, fans have come up with what they think the word on the wings is, but the letters are just gibberish. 
thanks to some kind folks on Twitter, I was able to get a better look at the wings through the Silent Hill 1 vinyl soundtrack, which depicts the Incubus. Given the letters used, the left side seems to be the real word, because the letters face the right direction when read that way. In addition, it looks like the last letter, which fans thought was a J or S, is actually a Z. But still, even seeing the letters more clearly, online translators can't seem to understand them. The word on the arm appears to be ODT, which might be the word street, if Google Translate is correct which it often isn't. It's possible that it's an aspect of design borrowed from the original concept, with lettering meant to look interesting without any real meaning. The choice of Baphomet for the Incubus design is interesting. It represents the complete aspects of the universe, a fitting choice for a god. But it is also a design that doesn't have a real origin in a religious faith or tradition. It's a design commonly found in occultism and mysticism, something Alessa might have seen while reading about the occult, and perhaps would have associated with the cult's god. Drawings of the creature, or that resemble the creature, can be found in Alessa's room in Silent Hill 1 and 3. Later, we'll also see it on Jasper's shirt in Silent Hill 4, along with the word Haurez, another name for the demon Flauros the demon duke of the night. Of course, the creature is also called Samael. Samael is a name often associated with fallen angels, especially Satan, Lucifer, and the angel of death, sometimes called Saturnail or Semyaza. The name likely means poison angel or the blind one, but he's not always evil. In the occult work, the Lemigeton, where he is called Samuel, he's a servant of mercy. In another work, he's the first Archon, ruler of Mars. Early accounts of the Incubus describe it as a fallen angel, just as Samael is. The combination of choices in this design leads to an interesting outcome. It's a creature associated with sex and sleep, referencing how Alessa is impregnated during her coma. It's a creature drawn from the occult, perhaps a sign Alessa herself influenced the creature's appearance from her own studies. And the secondary name implies the evil nature of the thing, that it is a fallen angel, something born of darkness and death.